This thing's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these before, but it's like a little lighter, but it's like a laser kind of. Anyways, so this video is about a new camera that I recently acquired called the Sony FX3. And in this video, we're basically just gonna rig it up a little bit, make it look like a studio camera, something you would use um, to shoot an interview or a documentary or something like that. So let's get to it and see what it looks like. All right, so here it is, the Sony FX3. It's a really small camera. It's really tiny, very light. It's really easy to throw it on a gimbal if you want to. And basically any tripod is gonna be able to handle this. The flip out screen, is a major improvement from both the a7s mark ii and i guess this is also on the sony a7s iii obviously since they're more or less the same camera although with the recent update it sets them apart a little bit okay so now let's rig it up like a cinema camera as the title implies and see if it doesn't look a little more official than this you know mirrorless camera looking thing that you would take pictures with maybe so let's rig it up I really like this stuff. All right, so now we have all the parts here and I'll try and put the, the name of the parts on the screen if I can remember exactly what they're called. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just take the body and put it in a cage to put some more parts on it and help it, you know, be a little more protected. This outer shell here with this camera is pretty nice and pretty sturdy feeling. It feels a little more, it feels kind of plasticky, but I think that's just because of how light it is. Screw it in there. All right, so now we got the cage on it. It looks a little better. It looks a little bigger, a little more, you know, official. It really adds a whole new weight to the camera that feels much nicer when you're going for anything handheld. And now we're going to put the LAN part, quick release base plate on there. Flip that around. There we go, not much has changed, kind of just looks like a little more complete with a base plate on there. And here we have our Lampart shoulder pad slash base for our camera to sit on. There we go. It's getting pretty chunky now. It looks a little, a little better. So this quick release system from Lampart is really good. Flip that switch, take the camera out put it back on, wait for the click, lock it back in. And you've got a really, really sturdy rig here. All right, now we're gonna put our 15 millimeter rod rails in here. Tighten that up. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is put a lens on the camera. All the only Sony lens I have on me right now is the Sony 28, 28 to 70. It's like the kit lens that comes with all the Sony Alpha cameras, I guess, or it's an option on most b &H orders, I think. Slap that on there. Ain't no G Master. All right, so now that that's on, it's kind of more or less half complete, maybe a little more than half. And then the next thing we'll do is maybe put the follow focus on. Wow, I completely forgot to do a follow focus ring on the lens but we'll forget about that for now so there we go with the follow focus on it, it looks pretty nice it looks a little again a little bigger we'll slap this ring here on the front to mount our tilta mb mbt 15 matte box which is basically it has a filter tray you could call it that a filter slot here in the front but i don't think i would trust dropping a 400 dollar piece of glass in there in the front okay so there it is looking pretty good pretty snazzy so far all right now we're gonna put the monitor on because and i'm also waiting for a monitor a full-size hdmi cable because I just came from the Sony a7s mark II and it has a mini 
It has a full-sized HDMI to micro HDMI into the camera, which everyone hated. But now we've got a full-sized HDMI, so I've put it in an order for one of those cables, which granted this rig could have been a little more complete if I had waited for that, but any hoozy. All right, now we're gonna put on the V-mount battery plate to add to the back of this to power this giant monitor because it absolutely runs through the Sony batteries. So this is the Rolux V-mount uh, battery plate. It's fine, gets the job done. This is just a random Chinese brand giant V-mount battery. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's 140 watts, maybe. That's it. That's pretty much the camera, pretty much the studio rig. That is pretty much it. That is the FX3 studio build. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, then give it a thumbs up or thumbs down because it doesn't matter anymore. Thank you, YouTube, for that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.